And it's still the breakfast in Plus TV Africa. Let's look at our second conversation. Uh, look, short codes is our focus this morning. However, Nigeria is moving towards harmonizing all short codes to uniform numbers across the telecommunication operators from May the 17th. Now, through the Nigerian Communications Commission, in the next two months, telecoms like MTN, Airtel, Night Mobile, and Globalcom, among others, may begin to use one singular code for specific transaction. This means Nigerians who want to recharge their mobile phones, check their credit balance for uh, airtime or data, and all the services will do this through a uniform number, irrespective of the network service provider. Uh, this appears to be the second phase of telecom industry harmonization of the, after the NCC introduced the mobile number portability feature 10 years ago in April 2013. Now, joining us to look at this and the implication uh, is Okono Abdullahi. It's good to have you join us. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Glad well, to be here with you. Yes, Okono, uh, I'd like to ask you, what are your thoughts about this development, the harmonization of codes? Okay, thank you so much. I think uh, the harmonization is a welcome development, considering the fact that uh, in this country of ours, you realize that hardly would you get to see an individual having just one network, you know, you see a lot of people using more than one uh, telecommunication, uh, what do you call it, uh, numbers, you know. While you, even as a matter of fact, I've come across people that have all the networks, you understand. So for people, for such people like that, it would be a, a welcome development, rather than for them to always be racking their brain over what is the short code to be used for one network or the other. Uh, I remember an incident like that. As a matter of fact, it actually happened to, to my wife and myself. You know, every now and then when she wants to, she was so used to one particular network, but she has another one. So anytime she wants to use the other one, she always call me and ask me, uh, darling, I, what's the shortcut for this particular service on this particular network? And unfortunately for her, I do not use that particular network she is always bothering me about. So what we usually do is to always go on net to Google to, to, to search for what the code is, you know. But in a scenario whereby you have uh, uniformity in all the short codes, irrespective of the network we are using, I think uh, it's a very good development which must be embraced by all. Hmm. All right, um, uh, Okonu, I'm seeing that um the proposed harmonized uh, short codes uh, are um, things like call center, help desk, uh, voicemail deposit, voicemail retrieval, you know, borrow services, stop services, uh, check balance, credit recharge, data plan, um, you know, and other services, verification, same verification. And, but are these enough, you know, because you've talked about memorizing all these things. Are these enough, you know, the, the other things that the, each network offers that are important, you know, um, should we be looking at maybe bringing more into these, um, uh, uh, this short code idea? We also have even the banks, you know, loading credit and uh, using your bank, um, which is the most important one, doing transfers to USSD. So um, is, it, is it, do we have more things you can bring into? This or these are the major ones that we should get. Secondly, we've seen that um, with the uh, forceful um, uh, move of Nigerians into, um, you know, uh, cashless uh, transactions, especially with the websites uh, of the banks, internet banking, mobile banking as well, with the USS, is that the the it seems like the 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 volume of transactions is weighed down on. The network, you know, of the of the of the banks, you know, sometimes you see USS, you have a bank, it's not going through, it's not working, the app is not working, the website. Is so, if everybody is now focused on a particular short code, will we not have this um, overcrowding of sorts, if uh, for want of a better word? Mm. Okay, thank you so much. Let me start with the first uh, question you asked. Uh, when I actually saw this uh, <coughs> news item. I went through and I saw uh, several numbers, though 
some, I mean, they look, uh, they look to be in sequence. By that, I'm trying to say that you have a 300 for call center, 301 for voice mail deposits, uh, 302 for voice mail retriever, and the likes like that. So though they, they are in sequence, but for me, I, as an individual, I, I, to a very large extent, I want to believe that this number is too, there are too many. There are too many. That's the way I personally is looking at it. There are too many. I'm looking at the situation whereby we have just one. For instance, like emergency airplane. Uh, in, uh, in Lagos, State, for example, you have just two, 737, then 112. So irrespective of whatever your complaint is, you know, you get, uh, what do you call it? You always get somebody responding to you and uh, a right person will respond and they try to attend to whatever your need is. Similar thing is what I'm expecting of uh, this. While you are harmonizing, fine, it is a welcome development, like I said earlier. But at the same time, you should go further than bringing plethora of uh, numbers for like though like they try to explain for specific uh, services but that notwithstanding we can have a sphere whereby you have maximum highest say two different uh, short codes one you know once you have uh, the short code you dial it so whatever transaction you want to do you can easily scroll up i mean scroll down look at uh, the the interface your phone to get to find where exactly you want to do if it is uh, to transfer money you go ahead and do it if it is to recharge your phone your data and the likes like that you go ahead and do it rather than for us to be having all this uh, this huge number you understand so because what we are trying to run away from eventually we'll still run into the same problem and that is how easy will people be easily can easily assess these numbers you know so that's for me i want to further urge at the ncc to go further to streamline these numbers there are too many for me there are too many and then uh, you talked about the uh, jam packing of the of these facilities whereby you have been using, using short codes uh, and uh, they are not uh, functioning the way they should if they harmonize with the problem not persist. I really don't see it as such, actually. You know, what really uh, led to this one is that the, the, the service providers before now, they were not, uh, the, the rush this time around as a result of the cashless redesign policy that is on now, they never uh, expected such, such, they were not prepared for it. But in the situation we're buying, we are now streamlined, we are, in, we are trying to uni, uh, make a uniform uh, short codes for all telecommunication, uh, what do you call it, uh, network providers. I think uh, they will increase their capacity and they uh, will not have any such, a, such problem. And uh, apart from that also is the fact that uh, you, if you are using one of the uh service providers network that means all subscribers on that particular network are the ones i mean the company or the comp i mean the telecommunication operator on that particular network is the one that will cater for all its subscri subscribers so unlike unlike what uh unlike what is going on uh, presently you know majority of uh, some of these banks and their apps, we get to realize that some network provider, I mean, they are more, uh, the subscribers are more on, on a particular bank compared to others. That's where you get to see that some of these problems are more peculiar to certain banks, you know, compared to others. So for me, this particular experience will serve as a learning curve for them and for them to know, which I want to believe that, yes, they have realized it as well, that they need to increase their capacity and also for the banks as well to, to increase the capacity of their app, they should uh, up, up their game. Well, uh, we do have uh, breaking news that a loaded Lagos state government staff boss has been involved in a collision with a trainer, the PWD bypass in the area of Ikejara. 
uh, rescue workers, according to the reporter, on the scene to help the injured. Now, several passengers are feared dead following the impact of that collision. Uh, it's also been advised that uh, you should probably, if you can hear us now, try to avoid that area because there's a high possibility of traffic in this access. And then, of course, quite unfortunate and very saddening. Our hearts and prayers are with those who have lost their lives. We'll definitely bring you more updates, uh, especially on our bulletin. But we, we get back to the crux of that. Yeah, Mr. I think that is a, a BRT bus, actually, not a staff bus. Yeah, oh, well, according to the report that we got, uh, the collision is between a, a bus, the Lagos State government boss and a BRT. There's a collision. So it's not mm. just, it didn't happen on its own. Yeah, uh, it, it seems to be between a BRT bus and a train. Mm, mm, BRT bus and a train. All right, then. So we'll we just continue with the conversation, just like we've said. We'll just bring you more updates as we proceed, uh, uh, you know, with this conversation, especially on our bulletin. Uh, that would shortly come after this part of the show. But, um, Abdullahi, I'd like to ask you, with the codes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go the, on. the harmonization of these codes, do you think that it would yield to uh, effectiveness and efficiency? Yes, I believe so. I believe so. Abdullahi, we can hear you. Hello. Yeah, please go on. We can hear you, Abdullahi. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So, like I was saying, it's definitely going to increase the efficiency and the effectiveness of uh, the services being rendered. You know, like I, I'm more particular about the subscribers, like I said earlier. A lot of people rack their brain over what these codes were. Somebody that is using more than one network, you know, they battle to get to use all these short codes. But in a case whereby you have a, um, you have them harmonized the way it is being proposed now, I think for the subscribers it is a very welcome development. And at the same time, it will also challenge the service providers to increase their capacity to, I mean, to be able to uh, serve their that subscribers very well. So obviously, it will lead to uh, increased uh, efficiency. I believe so. All right. Um, what are the innovations you think the um, the the you know authorities, NCC and, and the telco should embark on, um, you know, to make make things easier for Nigerians as far as telecommunications is concerned? Because I mean, of course, it's been a while since you know the. Um, uh, the benefits of per second billing came to be. Of course, it wasn't a government policy. It was uh, a policy of one of the companies, and the others had to adopt it. So um, what innovations do you think uh, can be introduced uh, to ensure that Nigerians enjoy you know, the use of the mobile phone? I mean, these days we have um, artificial intelligence, we have 5G <laughs> coming in. Are we ready for all these um, developments around the world. So what, what do you think we need to, what's the next stage we need to get to? I mean, this innovation is good. We're improving, we're bringing harmonization. But there are other things you think um, can be introduced to make it a more enjoyable experience uh, for Nigerians as far as mobile telephony is concerned? Okay, thank you so much. I, I want to look at it from the perspective of the customers, uh, so subscribers. Uh, one of the things, so while you were asking that question, the first thing that came to my mind has to do with uh, the data description, I mean, subscription. You know, data subscription, you tell you, for example, uh, you are on unlimited uh, uh, package, and uh, within, within a month, you have exhausted your, uh, what do you call it, your data, and you, you ask yourself, well, you told me this is unlimited, and they start speaking grammar to you. So this aspect, I want uh, NCC to look into this direction. And apart from that also, whereby I, for example, subscribe, uh, irrespective of the number of months, it should, it should be actually limitless. There shouldn't be a cap to, to when I must exhaust my data. Just like uh, your, what's it called now? Your, you recharging your phone, you have a certain number, uh, amount of uh, credit on your line. If you decide, you may decide rather not to use it to make any call whatsoever for a very long time. 
You understand? And your money will still be there. The same thing should be applicable to data as well. You understand? I want NCC to look into this. This will make Nigerians uh, be more appreciative of their work. They are doing well, no doubt about that. But if they can consider this, I think it will go a long way in putting smiles into the faces of, uh, uh, of Nigeria. Then another important thing, as a comrade, as a trade unionist, I want the NCC, though they may want to say that uh, it is not really within their purview, but I want them to go further than uh, looking at uh, these subscribers, but also focus, I mean, sorry, telecoms operators, then, but also to try to focus on the workers that are performing the job, that are making these services available to Nigerians. The workers are suffering within, this, within the sector. And uh, we as a union, we have been trying to uh, see how we will ameliorate the sufferings of, uh, of these workers uh, in, within the sector. But we want to see that when the agencies of government, like NCC, for example, look into this direction, I think uh, to a very it will also bring the so called. Well, well, the, well, thank you so much. Yeah. Also, yeah. for them to you. also double up on their performance. And okay. Their service v very, very quickly, sir, because of time. Uh, uh, very quickly, very quickly. Mobile money is, um, you know, is uh, is uh, innovation that and technology that has been introduced in Nigeria for years. But a lot of Nigerians don't know about mobile money. What happens is you take your mobile phone, and that mobile number of yours is is an account, it's a wallet. Anyone can send money to you on your mobile number. It's been introduced for years, and Nigerians haven't ad adopted it. The adaptation has been really poor. Uh, or penetration acceptability. Why do you think that is the case? Because some are saying, well, with this these challenges right now with the cash crunch and everything, it is uh, an avenue for Nigerians to be easily transact business. You know, if you don't have a bank account, why do you think it's it's failed to take off in the country? It's, I, I must say, but uh, if uh, the number of people that are embracing it is still very low then uh, what i feel should be done is for sensitization to more sensitization to be done they need to publicize it as much as possible because if you don't uh, like they say knowledge is power if you do if you, what you don't know you don't know it so if people are not aware of the importance of uh, this uh, mobile money of course they will not embrace it you know people are so fixated about uh, so much fixated about all these conventional banks you know and uh, they believe that until they go in and out of bank, buy the ATM and the likes like that, before they can access their money or get the transaction done. Mm -hmm. So the same way you publicize all these conventional banks as well, if you uh, publicize this as much as possible, there will be a lot of people who also embrace it. People that right. are not using it. Gonna, we have to go now. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much, Kunua Abdullahi, for being part of the show this morning. Uh, we appreciate your thoughts sincerely and we look forward to Thank you so much having for having you speak on more issues like this. And that's the size of our package. Mercy, it was a privilege uh, doing this with you. Um, and of course, uh, tomorrow we'll be back here. It's also a privilege having our viewers join us uh, this morning right here on The Breakfast. Um, please follow us on social media, Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Two channels, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Boko. And my name is Kofi Bartels. Thanks for joining us. And Messi and I will go have um, some hot, more hot tea um, whilst we prepare for the rest of our day. Have a nice day. <laughs>